I get to meet Joseph? You're not the right type to play Jesus' dad, Brad. He wasn't Jesus' dad. He was Jesus' stepdad. And I'm exactly the right type. You better stop hitting with that shepherd stick, Brad. I'm warning you. Brad's right. Let him meet Joseph. Thank you, Roger. I appreciate that. It's Brad's turn, Dusty. Dad, don't break character and stop trying to butter me up. Can we show some decorum? I'm showing decorum. Shh. You guys, sit it. You're going to wake up baby Jesus. <laughs> That's it. Give me the beard. Don't touch my Joseph beard, Brad. Give him the beard. Dad, stay out of here. Can we have some respect for the nativity? Get it out! This is stupid. I don't even get it. Why go to a trip when Mary's about to have a baby? What's so damn important? You gotta go to Bethlehem in the middle of the night. It was the census, okay? We covered that in Sunday school. Hey, what is going Did you get into the eggnog? Hey, we got for some IHOP. Oh, yeah, that kid's pickled, all right. Oh, I'm so pretty. Can we go to IHOP? I'm sorry, folks, having some technical difficulties. Great, Dad. Now you've broken the fourth wall. None of it's real, folks. I want to go in the car. Give me the keys, Brad. No, I'm not giving you the keys to the car because you're drunk and you're a child. Nobody likes your dumb, stupid Brad voice and smell like pumpkins. Oh, and you're a mean drunk. That kid's got an arm. Drunk nine-year-old. Real nice parenting. You better watch her, Roger. Oh. 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 Is she okay? Is she okay? Is she What's she? Oh, what a shock. Now we know where Megan got the eggnog. You always assume she's the bad influence. Maybe your daughter will find my daughter with alcohol. Maybe your daughter's that way because her mother is a shoplifter. Shoplifter. Sarah, we've been working on the shoplifting thing, okay? But that's got nothing to do with Adriana being such a little nightmare all the time. My daughter is not a nightmare. Come on, Adriana. No, sweetheart, I didn't mean that. Honey, hey, would you call my daughter? You call her a nightmare. Hey, I'm a lot of things, but I'm not a heathen. Let's take this outside. Yeah, let's step outside the manger. Call her a nightmare. Here we go. Now, now, boys, we, we can't just leave. Joseph and the innkeeper rumble outside the manger. Kick his ass, Joseph. We are not going to do this in front of the children. Now, what kind of fathers are you, anyway? Oh, that's rich. Coming from a guy who lies to his son for six months. Maybe that's why everyone thinks your stories are so delightful, because they're all lies. <laughs> Sarah, get the kids out of here, okay? Happily. I don't want them watching this anyway. Have fun, morons. Take it, bitches! <laughs> Those kids are gone. Let's go. Don't hit the guy dressed like Joseph. Beard's off, Roger. How many excuses do you want to pull out, ma'am? Oh, no. Beard's off. You know what, Brad? God! Yes! I lied. Because whenever there's anything wrong in your life, if it isn't roses and rainbows, will you completely fall apart? I thought we had an honest relationship. Oh, yeah? Brad, I bet you never told him about that procedure you had last year, did you? Oh, my God, what procedure? Uh, it was nothing. Just some benign tissue. How about that? You're both a couple of iron sacks. And you, from the minute you got here, you've been nothing but mean and sarcastic. Well, you know what, Kurt? F you! <gasps> That's right. Forget you! Attaboy, Swami. Throwing down F-words. Not the F-word, but an F-word. And that's a good start. Now, come on. Give me the finger, big boy. Come hey, on. Hey, come on. Are we going to still fight or what? Wait, Roger brings up a good point. Let's get the momentum back. Come on, Roger. Yeah, yeah, come, come on. Get some. Get in there. Come on. No, 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 no. If you lay one hand on each other, whether the kids are here or not, it will negatively impact them. All right. I'm not going to lay a hand on them. What are you doing? Oh, oh, I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snowball fight. Yeah. Oh, so let's hey, I've got some Nerf guns in the back of my car. Want me to get them? I pitched Triple A for the Red Sox in their farm system, Roger. Don't say I didn't warn Give you. Your best shot. Damn! Don, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, no, it was all right. Hey, no fair, that's a nice ball. Bet it is. You know, you throw that, and we are no longer co-dads. Oh, I'm way ahead of you, dickhead. You know what, from now on, we'll just act like a normal blended family with me hating your guts. But the kids will never know, because I'm too good of a dad to ever throw their stepfather under the bus. That's right, well, you're gonna be, Brad, under my bus. Well, guess what? I'm gonna celebrate you morning, noon, and night, because it's the right thing to do in front of the kids. But just know, the way I really feel about you is you can suck a fart, Dusty. A wet, greasy fart. <laughs> You gotta keep pump faking that thing, or you're gonna take a shot, Brad. Huh? What? What? Huh? He's never played sports ever. Maybe it's stuck to his hand. <laughs> huh? Huh? 